this is Callie from Liberty Justice Entertainment here at Malone's with... Surrender Attention! What's up guys, how are you tonight? Fucking awesome! You guys just got done playing a set. I was sick, I got some footage of that, so can't wait to get it out. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Shout out to Pirate Entertainment for this awesome show and all the bands that play tonight. Shout out to you the homie Ben. Let us stand in front of their bus. Yeah. This is I shout out. Bus right here. They drove out here from Arizona. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, what's your name and what do you play and what are some of your influences? I am Chaos Super. I am the really guitarist for the band and my influences mainly are thrash metal and a little bit of what these guys put into my soul. Nice. What do you use? I use Dean guitars primarily because I love the sound, feel, and pretty much my influences from my my greatest guitar heroes of all time. Nice. And uh, you? My name is Dylan. I play drums. Uh, I'd probably say like, some of my influences are like Matt Halpern and uh, Colin. What do you play? Uh, the drums. I, <laughs> but I mean, uh, like, my, my kit is a uh, Ludwig, a uh, Mepex snare. I have Tama Iron Cobra pedals with uh, Mepex cymbals. Nice. Yeah. I'm Dusty. I clean vocals. Uh, some of my biggest influences are anything from 1980s punk rock to Green Day, Silverstein. Nice. Right on. Uh, so you use any mic then? Any mic that I can <laughs> give me. <laughs> <laughs> right on. You? I'm Brandon Rigby. I'm hard vocals. Hey, I'm going to say probably Ronnie Radke and Jeremy McKinnon are probably my top influences. Nice. And, and you use any mic. Any mic. <laughs> any mic. <laughs> right on. Uh, I'm Bobby Hall, I'm a bass player. Uh, my biggest influences are Ghost from Motionless and White, and my from Motorhead. Uh, I play a Yamaha P3580 and a Hunger Shed Fender Rumble amp. Nice. <laughs> I'm Noah, I play lead guitar. Uh, my rig is a 120 watt half stack DD Valve King. I play on the LTD and ESP guitar. Nice. Oh damn, I forgot my amp. How about that? <laughs> so, um, what brought you guys together? You guys are a big piece band. How did you guys all meet? Funny story. Yeah. So, I knew this guy for a while, but yeah. we weren't really we weren't friends, and we used to party at this chick's house. Um, and we just got really drunk. We were really, really, really drunk. <laughs> and he started talking about Star Wars, so I ran over because I, I had to join the conversation. And somehow get it on, got on talking about bands. And then talking about how we should make our own band. And, then and like, that continued for a few weeks. Yeah. And just drunkenly talking about how we should how we should start a band. Nice. And we actually did. Yeah. <laughs> it was Sweet. Beautifully. Yeah. And then uh, I brought in Bobby. He, I've known him for years. He's one of my best friends. Aww. I brought in him. <laughs> him, him and our other guitarist brought in me, and yeah. And we, I, uh, they, they, they brought in Sebastian. In the bassist and our, like, we had a former guitarist. Like, I was working at a guitar center, and they were like, hey, do you know any drummers? So I was like, I'm a drummer. I'm a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want to play in our band? I was like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> As for, as for Sebastian, okay, hold on. <laughs> Part of the inception of the band for us actually started in my room a year ago when we I made a YouTube video just for kicks of Blitzkrieg Bob fail. It was literally just we did for fun and it was so stupid and so crazy. Yeah, we had a blast doing it, but never knowing that three months later we became all this and we never thought that any of this would actually be real. And yet nine months later. We got a lot going down for us. That's it's awesome. crazy. That's awesome. So you guys are looking to play a lot of different shows We're in the trying area. We're to branch out to Orange County, San Diego, LA, wherever we can, whenever we can. Right on. And uh, how would you describe your sounds? Uh, we kind of like we ride this line between like post hardcore and like metalcore, and then like, bring in like a little bit of thrash from yeah. from some of his influences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have some, we have some punk, punk just because yeah. yeah. I try to throw in a lot of punk rock whenever I can. Oh yeah, just slip it in. That too. Yeah, you guys are pretty eclectic. I like that because I like all types of different music, and I can hear like a, a lot of different backgrounds coming together when you guys play, and I like that a lot. So that's cool. Um, what, how's your guys' recording process like? Are you looking to record soon? Are you writing right now? Or? Uh, we have like a whole EP written and we're just looking for a place to record it. We recorded one song.
It's called Breakdown Denial. We recorded it down in Fallbrook and uh, Sonic, Sonic Rocket Productions. Yeah. And uh, it's on Bandcamp. It's band on our lab. band lab. No, it's no, on Bandcamp. Band camp. It's Bandcamp. Oh, both, right? Band yeah. Lab is weird. Yeah. Where can people find your music? Bandcamp, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, do we have a Twitter? Can we get that email? Yeah, <laughs> 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 we have Reverb Nation too. Yeah. Uh, Reverb Nation. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it is. We have, we have a Twitter, but we're kind of lazy yeah, on Twitter it. Twitter sucks. Yeah. I use it, but I don't ever. I just I post work. what I have on YouTube. <laughs> like, seriously, I just link it up and, like, it goes. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I do. But, um, yeah, just stay connected and all that good stuff. So, um, is there anything you guys would like to say to your fans? Uh, just thank you for the support. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming out to see us. Yes, today today was amazing. This is our biggest show. Today was uh, really was big. Show. I was freaking out pretty hard. There was a yeah. lot of people. There was a yeah. lot of people. Brandon and Dustin like, guys, I'm freaking the fuck out. Oh, so we had no yeah, I was really excited to see like how many people came out to the show tonight and then also to see how many people were like paying attention to you guys, watching you guys, that kind of stuff. So for playing this time slot that you did and had that many people around the stage was pretty legit. I liked it. Yeah. That's cool. So I hope to see a lot more successful shows for you guys and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep playing. This we actually have a show towards the end of the month on the 28th at yeah. the Lime in LA. Okay. It's ten dollars to get in. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, um, anything else you guys would like to throw out there? I gotta give a shout out to Eric from Vindicate. He, uh, we do a Lincoln Park cover. Oh and yeah, that he, was cool. He jumped on stage with us and just killed it. Yes. And uh, they're playing right now when they kick ass. He's awesome, dude. He helped me get out here, so he's good people. <laughs> right on, guys. Well, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, Appreciate nice. it. Oh, we had a little story. We wanted oh, wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, See, I said, is there anything left? <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it so, moving. So we were down in Fallbrook at the recording studio, and uh, Dylan, you want to take the rest? <laughs> <laughs> take the whole time. Story. So, so just, what ended up happening up. was I ended up leaving my backpack in. I believe it was Dustin's car, and I called him and I was like, "Guys, I need my backpack," but they were a few hundred feet behind us. Oh. So on some Mission Impossible on the type 15, shit, free on the 15. Free. Going 80, Mission Impossible style shit. They're like handing me my backpack from the fucking car. Like, like we full on down. Oh my god. I wonder what people were thinking oh, like around you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it was my car and Dilla's car, and it was like a taxi no, moment, like in the movie Taxi. It's like, oh no. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Roll down the window in the back seat, and Dylan just handed me, and I thought I was gonna freaking drop it. I thought he was gonna fall <laughs> out. I thought he was gonna fall out. Oh my it. gosh. It was scary, but I, <laughs> Were yeah, people honking like, <laughs> like <laughs> They were actually more amused at seeing us doing that than anything else. Trying to get it. Super select for how like dangerous it could have been. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're surrender attention. Uh, thanks for uh, coming out to this show. Thank you. And surrender. Right. And surrender. <laughs> surrender your attention to us. Yes, yes. Thank so, again, where can people find your music? Bandcamp, YouTube, Facebook. Right on. Information too. Follow us on Instagram. Right on. Sounds good. <laughs> well, this is Callie from Liberate Justice Entertainment signing out with... Surrender Attention! Alright, later guys. It's the realization of revelations. That is the truth we can't see.